Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can probably tell I'm going to do some pick a card readings today. If you'd like a private reading the link to my shop is in the description box below. I actually do a spirit animal reading on there if any of you are interested. And as you can probably tell I'm going to bring you some spirit animal messages today through these readings. The focus is going to be what spirit animal is guiding you right now and what messages do they want you to know? So I would say go with the animal you're drawn to the most and make that your reading. But obviously you can always watch more than one reading if you wish. Let's just have a look at the cards. So we've got Lion Spirit. That will be reading one. Horse Spirit for reading two and Flamingo Spirit for reading three. So I'll put the timestamps below um, in the description box and the pinned comment to make it easier for you to find your reading. And I'll see you for your reading. Welcome to reading one. So obviously you picked the lion, very strong energy. And the message here is be generous of spirit. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit from the book for this one because um, it says Lion Spirit's appearance is a reminder that you've been given the gift of pride and a healthy sense of your worth to express your divine authentic self in a unique way. But the challenge that's coming through here is perhaps you do much good already but you're feeling unappreciated, wanting to hold back your gifts and hoard them for yourself. Maybe you are looking for attention and praise. Maybe you are even being generous with the expectation that you would be entitled to repayment. Know that the real magic happens when you remember there is always enough and you are always enough. Give freely, without agenda or expectation. So yeah, it could be a sense of some of you holding back in certain areas of, of your life because of expectations. Um, even your heart could be closing off your heart to what's out there for you. The lion is so strong, isn't it? Um, so you're being guided to tap into that inner strength and give yourself freely in whatever area this is that we're looking at. Um, so we'll get some more now with the tarot. See what messages the lion spirit also wants you to know. Okay, quite a few there have come out. Now that's really interesting that we've got a lion again on this card. Um, so you could be a Leo Potentially, not necessarily. What I'm getting here, you've got the tower, is there could be something unexpected that's to come for some of you that really makes you start to assess your future. Because obviously the lion here as well is looking out to the future, what's out there for you. Um, and this might make you a little bit unbalanced in your energy. So that's why the lion is coming through there, giving you strength, helping you to heal with the sun as well. And you're being guided to take action. Um, this tower moment can be divine intervention here. You know, crumbling something that wasn't built on solid ground. And out comes the dove, bringing you peace within. What I'm feeling here is that something quite significant may happen in your life. And it really does make you stop in your tracks and have to sort of like make plans, make new plans, actually. Um, it sort of throws you of course, but it's actually taking you down the path you're meant to go down, if that makes sense. 
Um, yeah, you could be a fire sign or have Scorpio in your chart. Not necessarily, but that's coming through. Yeah, so I feel that this tower moment, this big shift in your life um, may create conflict and tension within. It's interesting, I was saying before about closing off your heart, so it could create some heartbreak for some of you, um, where you close your heart and you're being guided to, to open it, to open yourself up to what's out there for you. Um, don't close up your chakras in particular coming out here with the eight of wands you're going to have some communication potentially that comes your way um, and many changes that happen for you with the stars I'm just getting in my heart I'm getting that if you heal your heart chakra you'll have opportunities out there for you for some of you it's doing something you're passionate about from the heart, giving yourself, being of service potentially in your work, um, yeah, where you're connected to the divine. It's interesting that there are two dolphins here on this coin that you're holding. Now that's a symbol of protection and love, playfulness. I'm getting a divine connection here because it's the king of cups. This is someone potentially in your future who comes into your life with a cup of love. So that's why you're being guided to heal your heart, which has come out here a lot. We're also seeing it here, your heart there shining brightly. As you maybe look back and reflect on your past process, learn from that and then move forward. Um, you know, take action. So we've also got um, a unicorn, quite a lot of unicorns actually here as well. Butterflies, for change you might see butterflies, a dove. Um, I'm not quite sure what they are, they look like flying fish to be honest. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've got, okay, we've got a big dolphin there as well, beautiful. So you might see some of those animals as well um, as signs. So any other guidance from the lion spirit for you today? I feel some of you might, um, this tower moment could be an end of a relationship or it's something that's happened in your past. For some of you, I'm getting a big awakening with the tower as well, that causes a lot of tension and conflict for you and maybe those around you. It could be a very sudden decision that you make. But I'm really seeing this heart awakening as a result of this, actually, um, and sort of stepping up into your full power, a lot of unconditional love there for yourself and others, so giving to others, learning from this experience is what you're being guided to do. Yeah, wow, <laughs> now we've got a really big cup there, the Knight of Cups, so King of Cups, Knight of Cups, um, this is you giving fully, as I said, unconditional love to others. Um, divine work, I feel, for some of you here that you're being guided to do if you don't do it already. And that's when things shift for you. Lots of opportunities come your way. Well, wow, there's lots of fish here. Symbol of abundance and good fortune. Some of you may gain from giving fully, like 
um, unconditionally, without expectation of anything in return, because uh, you're doing something you're passionate about. Being of service is really coming through him. For a lot of you, your purpose. So again, that could be what this awakening is for some of you. Awakening to your purpose. You receive a big sign about that. So anything else? And the five of cups. Yeah, so this is what you're being guided to release. Any sadness, grief, loss. You, there could be a loss here as a result of this tower, as I said. It could be an old part of yourself, a relationship, job. But you've got two cups there behind you that you, you're not seeing. With the two butterflies, this is you and another person. I'm seeing that as these two energies here. Very loving energies. You might even meet through the work that you do, through your community. Some of you aren't seeing that. And you've got butterflies again and a rainbow, which I'm seeing like the Ten of Cups. Um, beautifully blessed connection. We've got a rainbow in that card as well, actually. Okay, anything else about this? So you, this connection could be that both of you work in service, actually together, is your mission. Yeah, that one wanted to come. We've got the Emperor. Um, yeah, so this is a very powerful energy. This is you taking action in your life. Um, we've got the Yin Yang there, feeling aligned and balanced, horses for strength. So again, more spirit animals coming through. We've got a big cat here as well, by your side, giving you this strength to do this. Um, for some of you, it could be that you decide to, to venture out alone, work for yourself, potentially. Um, Aries has come out and water signs as well in these readings. I'm feeling there's another card for you. Wow, a lion again. <laughs> that's amazing. Now look at the power here that's coming from you and this, you know, your spirit animal there, the lion, helping you connect with the divine, heal your heart, and like through connecting to the divine, being of service to others. Wow, this is really powerful energy I'm getting here. Standing your ground, really strong. A lot of strength. So you're being guided to be strong, to look to the future, take action. Come from the heart in an unconditional way. Release the past. Do what you feel you're guided to do. So I'm going to leave that there. Wow, that was really powerful, everyone. I really hope you got some messages from this reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let us know in the comments if anything resonated for you. And I'll see you next time. Welcome to reading two. So you picked all spirit and the message is freedom is yours. I'm wondering if some of you feel stuck at the moment. Maybe your spirit has been broken by challenges you've faced because this horse has his head down. He looks a bit disheartened. Your current choices may not seem the best, but you're not seeing the clearing ahead where you can break free and run like the horse. I'm really feeling that for this group. Um, you could have been born in the year of the horse, by the way. It's like some of you with this looking down energy, you're not seeing what's out there for you. You think you have to stay where you're at. But Horse Spirit is here to tell you that adventure calls and you will soon realize your power is greater than you think. So horse is a symbol of power. You might see a lot of horses as a sign for you. Um, you might see them a lot anyway, but I'm really feeling around this time that could be the case. 
you're being guided to look at why do you feel stuck, like you can't move on. It's really interesting what I'm noticing here, um, that his mind is going into the future, but he's looking slightly to the past. So it could be something holding you back from your past. Um, but I'm also getting like your soul is really guiding you to move forward. There's another path out there for you, but some of you don't see it. And that's the ego that steps in and says, no, I have to stay where I am. Now that's fear. I'm really feeling that actually come through in the energy here. So that could resonate with some of you potentially. I'm going to pull some um, tarot cards as well. So some messages from the horse spirit for you today. Yeah, I'm going to stop there on that card, the Ten of Swords. Now I love the Ten of Swords in this deck because it's about an ending. But in this card it's quite positive because we're seeing this transformation in this person coming from the heart chakra, aligning, transforming as a result of this change. Now it could be something quite difficult. I am feeling that. Some of you are in a difficult, challenging situation. There's something you know you potentially need to end, but it would cause a lot of turmoil for you and others around you. But if you do it, I'm just feeling you're going to feel a lot better, you're going to feel really strong, like the horse, and you're going to move into the correct path for you. It's almost like this is um, a lesson for some of you. I'm really feeling, I'm also feeling for some of you, what could spur you on to do this is a big awakening, which again we're seeing in this card. It's almost like these light codes here, um, entering your body, awakening your heart, and it just helps you see things differently around you and want to break free and know that freedom is yours, as we had with the horse. That's really interesting. It's almost like this is destined as well for some of you for this to happen particular time it may really take you by surprise but um, it's almost like you just awaken to who you are actually okay anything else Yeah, I feel this could be around your belief system, potentially. You believed one particular thing, and then this big shift just makes you see things really differently. Um, he's pointing to the dove there, so you find peace within. You've also got a bear and a bull. So very strong animals there by your side, could be your spirit animals as well, and birds or a dove. Now this could be an institution, a marriage, commitment, whatever it is, something you felt quite stuck in. It's almost like it's what you wanted. And then this shift happens within you and you realise it really isn't what you wanted. You feel quite stuck, chained in that situation. And here I'm seeing this as like your spirit guide actually showing you this big cup of love. So love, true love, that's out there for you. Um, wow, there are two doves now in this card. So that's a very peaceful, loving connection. Twin flames potentially. We've also got two dolphins Another symbol of divine love. A lot of pairs. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting this is around love for some of you. Um, this is like, yeah, it's something, it's like maybe in your mind as well, something from your past. 
It's funny how I'm getting this really liberated feeling now as I talk. Something that's held you down and you're being shown here the way. You will receive a sign, I feel, that shows you the way. That also shows you there's a divine counterpart out there for you. It could be a sign about this person. You awaken to who they are what your connection is. So I'm really getting to in flames here. It's like you've always known and then something big happens for you and you just realise that's my one. Um, but I feel you've, you've known all along. Deep down. Yeah, the two of pentacles. So... It's quite interesting what I was just saying. See, here's the subconscious, here's the conscious. It's like, in your subconscious, you've always known. And it comes out into your conscious mind when you go through this shift. So consciously, maybe you haven't fully known. You've kind of had signs. And then something happens here. Whatever this is for you, obviously, won't all just be a relationship. It could be job, way of thinking, beliefs, way of life. Um, Aries, Taurus and water signs come out here. Yeah, um, it's definitely something that's made you feel unhappy deep down. And again, maybe you've not known it. But now we've got all the chakras coming out here, aligning. You've also got stalks showing changes that happen. We've, again, we've got a pair. So that's really special um, to have that. And it's like you go through this dark night of the soul in realising this, in realising you're actually unhappy in this situation. You've got the Emperor, which is a really empowering energy. Now we've got horses again. You've got two of them here <laughs> for strength, guiding you forward um, on the chariot. The yin-yang there is showing the alignment that we've got there with the chakras. Um, your divine masculine energy here, taking action. You could be a divine masculine, potentially, um, if you're twin flames. Or this could be your person. Yeah, now, without a priestess, I'm really getting twin flames. It's like telepathy here that increases. For some of you, um, I'm really getting like this tightness in the back for some of you. Now that can be linked to stability, and we've got two fours here as well. So it's something's made you feel quite unstable in your energy. Anything else from the horse spirit? Okay, that one as well. Yeah, I feel you're going to take decisive action with the Queen of Swords here. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to receive downloads, light codes that we had there. We've got the rainbow again showing you're blessed. You're really going to work on yourself as well during this time. Um, wow, all the animals here as well coming through. We've got a turtle. We've Wow, we've got a stag and a deer. Now that's a divine connection. The stag, I would say, is divine masculine. The deer, divine feminine. 
I'm getting here like the universe manifesting and helping you if you co-create with the universe manifesting this new beginning new cycles here new connection potentially as well um we've got libra coming out there yeah the wheel of fortune the wheel will turn in your favor as a result we've got two tens as well for an ending um, Sagittarius energy as well you see you've got angels there as well guiding you to make this change for a new beginning commitment is coming out here as well so this could be yeah, and the King of Pentacles, wow, wow, two bears as well, so the amount of pairs of animals we've had in this reading, which has really shown me couples, love, maybe even partnerships in work, could be a spirit animal here, I'm just feeling you're going to be a lot more grounded and secure in who you are, in what you want, and you're going to commit, and then the wheel turns, in your favour and this is destined whatever this is for you I'm seeing it as destined <clears throat> okay <clears throat> yeah I'm getting a blocked throat chakra so some of you need to speak out in some area of your life I feel I just noticed another bear <laughs> it's amazing eagle uh, looks like a wolf and I'm not sure is that a bull not too sure but again it's like the different directions you could go in but I do feel you're being guided here by the divine wow pile two um, I'm gonna leave that there I think that was really special uh, quite direct in terms of the messages that came through so I really hope they've helped you brought, brought you some insight thank you so much for being here Sending lots of love to you all. Welcome to reading three. So obviously you picked the flamingo spirit and the message is embrace the in-between. So maybe you're in between something at the moment, um, in between jobs, maybe you're single, whatever it is for you. Um, I'll just leave, read you a little bit from the book. It says, if you're feeling nervous and wobbly, stop worrying about the past and the future. Instead, be present in the moment. The past has its lessons and planning has its merits. But right now, you may be in balance because you're becoming too nostalgic for what once was or too anxious about what the future might hold. So yeah, maybe there's a little bit of anxiety for some of you. Obviously, he's looking to the future and that's your message, I feel. Stay in the present moment and focus on, you know, what you're doing now and what it's going to bring you in the future rather than dwelling in the past. Okay, so let's see what other messages with the tarot Flamingo Spirit wants to bring you. You might see a lot of flamingos. Um, and that could be your sign, maybe after this reading that's the case, or you might really feel it's your spirit animal. So we've got two tens, first of all, that have come out here. Um, you've got a bear that's come out, um, a deer and a dove. So they could be your spirit animals as well, guiding you here. There's also a fish. I'm feeling here, there's again that in between. So maybe some of you are very 
heavy in your energy, which I'm actually feeling in my own energy here. It could be manifesting physically for some of you. But you could be very focused on a relationship from your past. And there's a lot of sadness here in terms of what you've lost in that connection. So you're not focused on the future. There's still some processing here that you need to do. Or for some of you, this could be your current situation that's very heavy. And the bear is there protecting you, giving you strength. So maybe this relationship weighs you down. There's some regret in terms of being in this situation. Maybe it once felt right for you and now it doesn't. That can happen as we grow and learn. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, you're very committed to this situation. Um, if you're in this situation right now, could even be your workplace for some of you. But you're seeing signs or you're receiving signs, could be feathers, a lot of feathers here for some of you. And I also feel for some of you, I'm seeing like these sparkles of light on your crown chakra. You might receive downloads that give you signs and messages. And it's just my cat that's jumped up on the chair in case you're wondering. Okay, so my cat's just on my lap right now. You might hear her purring in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, it's quite interesting actually because when she does that, she really grounds me. And that's what I'm getting with this card here as well, grounding. What I'm also getting for some of you is guidance, is finding that balance between work and play. So not being overly focused on your work, making sure you take time for the pleasures in life. And that could be why some of you are overburdened, maybe you're overworked, workaholics. Um, you know, you're being guided to focus also on your family, your happiness. Maybe this was past energy for some of you, something, you know, an energy you were in. And some of you regret that now. You want to make a change um, in, in those aspects of your life. So that one wants to come out. Yeah, you've got the death card, which shows a big transformation here that some of you may go through. The phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, finding that balance, making that big change in your life. So maybe some of you are in between at the moment in terms of making this transition. Maybe some of you want to make a change like working less hours so you can spend more time with your family for example or working from home some sort of big change here coming for some of you i feel so any more guidance for for this group that are watching Yeah, I'm just seeing here this co-creating with spirit, with the three of pentacles, building something new. So it could be something of your own, starting your own business, your own venture. Um, very abundant energy, with the empress coming out here. You are destined to receive this. Feel so it could be doing some spiritual work. Um, we've got a swan there by your side, could be a spirit animal, and a dove, also an owl for wisdom and intuition. So, trusting your intuition in terms of doing this. But I do feel some of you are already doing it in the process of doing this, or maybe you work, you do some work for yourself. 
and you have another job and you're thinking of making that transition. So that keeps coming through. Transition here. So we've got Libra, Scorpio strongly coming out. Um, Earth or water as well. Uh, signs coming through. I'm just feeling this sense of liberation now. When you do it, when you make this transition, you're, you're going to be rewarded. Some of you might be a bit worried with the Five of Cups there about losing out, potentially. Yeah, so you're being guided to meditate, take some time out to think this through, ground your energy. Um, you've got bears there as well for strength. Wow, a lot of bears in this reading. Um, so maybe healing as well physically. I was getting some sort of physical ailment here. Or healing from something from your past. Could be a breakup here for some of you with two tens. But you're going to come out reborn with the death card there. So any other guidance for this reading? Yeah, I just heard a motorbike there um, outside. I don't know if you'll hear that on camera. With that, I'm getting this sign of moving forward with speed things speeding up for some of you as well yeah then justice wow Libra again things working out um, as I was feeling balance yeah so you're finding that balance in your life which I feel is the main theme of this reading between work and play feeling aligned within maybe a new contract new beginning Ending a contract for some of you as well. I'm getting here. So it's really amazing the way that that's all come out as the theme for this reading. So this may resonate for you. If it does, you'll know. If it doesn't, maybe check out another reading. Yeah, see with the Nine of Pentacles, um, I'm getting that freedom, working for yourself, being independent coming through again. You've got a panther there by your side, a spirit animal. She's holding a dove for peace, yeah. So finding that balance, peace within, will enable you to think with a clear mind, balance your energy, um, work on yourself, heal, come out transformed, and manifest this abundance that you deserve I'm, I'm getting like tearful I'm not crying but I'm getting tearful here so I really do feel this healing coming through here that some of you need to do purging it's almost like as well this is like the old you here that you need to release and then with death the transformation occurs the phoenix rises from the ashes here. So you may need some time to do this. You might need to retract, be alone for some time. You could be an empath. And you might find increasingly that you find it difficult to be around a lot of people because they suck your energy. Um, you know, they're like energy vampires. You also absorb their energy, by the way, if you're a healer. So you get home and you're like that maybe for a few days but you are protected and guided during that time really feeling okay everyone I'm going to leave that there so make sure you ground yourself because I'm getting a bit of an ungrounded energy with that in between as well that came out there the anxiety really hope this reading has helped for you thank you so much for being here sending lots of love to you all